Hey guys, it's me, the Senile Simmer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a regular. Welcome back to today's episode of Wild Flowers. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you, kitty? I'm all out of strength. <laughs> Giva seems busy already, but nobody's too busy for new friends, right? This morning, I dropped off a basket of pastries by her door, fresh from Angus's bakery. I hope she takes the hint and stops by my workshop. bed. <sighs> Smithing is the best stress reliever. Once my hammer strikes metal, I feel like my feet are back on Earth again. Oh, I am so thankful for modern AC technology. Getting sweaty pit stains is humiliating. In the apartment where I grew up, my sister and I used to play this card game called Briska. Whoever won got to park themselves right in front of the AC. The loser just had to suffer. What's your sister like? Well, she and I don't really talk. I think she's kind of done with our family. And I get that. I agree with Messenger Cameron about most stuff, but isn't the summer festival harmless? The old stories mentioned fairies, sure, but everyone knows there aren't actually any fairies. Yup. Everyone sure does know that. So... What did you think of my speech? Uh, it was great. I thought you would like it. 
I go back and forth between thinking that the Summertide Star is just useless and that it's really meaningful. Sure, Vanessa's been Summertide Star more often than anyone else, but Damon's dad picked me as the Summertide Star the year my mom went missing. I still have pics from that day. Here you go, Violet. Wow, thank you so much. Come back tomorrow. I've got a surprise for you. I just love feeling the summer sun on my skin. It's an all-natural mood enhancer. Nothing like the sun in Los Angeles, thankfully. That light is merciless. You look sad. What's up, Parker? Yeah, uh, well, yesterday was the summer block party in my old neighborhood. Most years I go back to the city for it, but I have too many projects right now. I had Emmy and Finn help me flip burgers and make punch, but it wasn't the same. Huh. <sighs> Every year we spend so much time preparing the summer festival, and then it goes by in a blink. Yup, uh, sure did. My Nona used to say the same thing about making the Passover Seder, but all the hard work is worth it if it brings the ones you love together. Otto made a comment about how easy it is to stand around and cut up meat. Easy? Easy? There are 40 ways to slice beef alone. My mom was a summertime star once, right after we moved here. How old were you then? I, I feel like I remember seeing you playing in town by the general store. Oh, yeah. Lena used to mind me sometimes when my folks were running the bar. We moved to Fairhaven right when I was five. I don't have any memories of life back home, to tell you the truth. Do you know what Cameron said he was craving the other day? Avocado mash. I literally cannot think of a food that has less flavor. One of these days I'm going to make him a proper curry. Eva is so chill, and she seems psyched about all the spices I've been stocking up on. We're gonna be tight. I can feel it. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Here, good kitty. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you, kitty?
I'm all out of strength. Giva seems busy already, but nobody's too busy for new friends, right? This morning, I dropped off a basket of pastries by her door, fresh from Angus's bakery. I hope she takes the hint and stops by my workshop. Smithing is the best stress reliever. Once my hammer strikes metal, I feel like my feet are back on earth again. Oh, I am so thankful for modern AC technology. Getting sweaty pit stains is humiliating. In the apartment where I grew up, my sister and I used to play this card game called Briska. Whoever won got to park themselves right in front of the AC. The loser just had to suffer. What's your sister like? Well, she and I don't really talk. I think she's kind of done with our family. And I get that. I agree with Messenger Cameron about most stuff, but isn't the summer festival harmless? The old stories mentioned fairies, sure, but everyone knows there aren't actually any fairies. Yup. Everyone sure does know that. So, what did you think of my speech? Uh, it was great. I thought you would like it. I go back and forth between thinking that the Summertide Star is just useless and that it's really meaningful. Sure, Vanessa's been Summertide Star more often than anyone else, but Damon's dad picked me as the Summertide Star the year my mom went missing. I still have pics from that day. Here you go, Violet. Wow, thank you so much. Come back tomorrow. I've got a surprise for you. I just love feeling the summer sun on my skin. It's an all-natural mood enhancer. Nothing like the sun in Los Angeles, thankfully. That light is merciless. You look sad. What's up, Parker? Yeah, uh, well, yesterday was the summer block party in my old neighborhood. Most years I go back to the city for it, but... I have too many projects right now. I had Emmy and Finn help me flip burgers and make punch, but it wasn't the same. <sighs> Every year we spend so much time preparing the summer festival, and then it goes by in a blink. Yup, uh, sure did. My Nona used to say the same thing about making the Passover Seder, but all the hard work is worth it if it brings the ones you love together. Otto made a comment about how easy it is to stand around and cut up meat. Easy? Easy? There are 40 ways to slice beef alone. My mom was a summertime star once, right after we moved here. How old were you then? I, I feel like I remember seeing you playing in town by the general store. Oh yeah, Lena used to mind me sometimes when my folks were running the bar. We moved to Fairhaven right when I was five. I don't have any memories of life back home, to tell you the truth. Do you know what Cameron said he was craving the other day? Avocado mash. I literally cannot think of a food that has less flavor. One of these days I'm going to make him a proper curry. Eva is so chill, and she seems psyched about all the spices I've been stocking up on. We're gonna be tight. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> 
She cleaned up nice. Oh, but now what? I could get in and try floating in the lake in circles, but I think the farseer will know what I need next. offer honey to Thomas. He ordered pancakes. We were out of maple syrup. What was I supposed to do? He hates large-scale honey farming. Says honeybees don't pollinate as well as wild bees, like bumblebees. They're more susceptible to colony collapse, yada, yada, yada. I can't believe he didn't give you a whole lecture. He must be sweet on you. And not just for your pancakes. Violet's right. I think Thomas likes you, Sophia. You should go on a date with him. Oh. My, I, I am not ready for dating yet. Thomas and I are just old friends, and I'm happy to keep it that way. Violet, you should leave the matchmaking to the professionals. I'm worried, Tara. Sophia holds Giacomo on such a pedestal. I'm afraid she'll never let herself get close to anyone else. We'll help her, Violet. She just has to move on in her own time. <sighs> I hope you're right. Sometimes I make Sebastian rub my feet after work. He hates it. I mean, I do understand his point of view. But hey, now I don't have to. I've been going to the onsen instead. You and Kim are lifesavers. <laughs> I fixed up the boat, but I still don't understand. There's nowhere for it to go. You'll be needing a charm to prove your fealty. And where would I find it? It was your great aunt's boat. Ask her. Do I gotta tell you everything? How can I ask my great aunt if she's... Uh, never mind. So you're the Barseer. That means that you can see the future? When the need arises. But there's plenty to see in the here and now if you just pay attention. <laughs> you sound just like my grandma. I miss her so much. I want to do what she said and make things better between the coven and the town, but... I don't really know where to start. Ah, that's simple enough. You just gotta find a way into their hearts. Simple as that, huh? Here. Craft this crystal ball in your sanctum. Once you've created it, you'll be able to see the heart's desire of any person on the island. You'll need this crystal ball potion any time you want to use your crystal ball. Come see me when it's ready. Should I go to bed? Hmm. 
Hey there, kitty. You two look real professional. Let me snap a photo. Dad, we're working. Hey, it's Sarah. Want some lemonade? You get a discount because you helped us. I sure do. When it's warm, Shelby sometimes hangs out on the beach while I'm there. Some people don't like him, but like, pfft, why? We just sit there and vibe. And then he says something deep, and I nod. It's copacetic. What, you think that just because I surf a lot, I'm always hungry? Well, I am. You know, I don't have anything specific to share right now. I just wanted to visit. You've been on my mind. Hi, Violet. What you doing? Oh, I'm just sprinkling some flower seeds. Just general town beautification, you know. Okay, fine. Look, when my dad was mayor, my mom always kept this area planted with colorful flowers. Mrs. Soft prefers a greener palette. Don't tell anyone you saw me here. Please. Don't worry, our secret is safe with me. In fact, let me know if you need extra flower seeds. Wow, thanks. I know, this place really needs some cheerful color, don't you think? Look, I know I should leave this place alone. I can't help it. It brings up too many memories. I can't wait until Sebastian is old enough to live on his own. Then I'm moving away from this island. I just need to leave this town and all the constant reminders of everything I've lost. <laughs> how you found the time to do this with all your farm chores. Thanks. I keep telling myself that I'm going to start running. It's so good for your heart. But then the summer heat hits me and I think <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the day. Hi, Francis. Looking for pearls? I was, but I guess I got lost in thought watching the waves. The water here is much colder, but the waves always make me think of La Isla. Not that I even got to visit it much. Growing up, I didn't really feel at home on La Isla, but I didn't really feel at home in the city either. D do you feel at home here in Fairhaven yet? Well, I might not feel completely at home yet, but it feels more like home than the city ever did. <laughs> I hear you. I can't imagine ever living there again. No shade. It's just not for me. Oh, listen to me. I'm just babbling out loud. Thanks for listening, Tara. <laughs> Ah, I wish my da were still here to see the bathhouse you built. He told me stories about visiting the hot springs in Switzerland when he was a boy. Now I can pretend I'm summering in Lycabod. strength. Hiya, Tara. Don't think I've seen you this far into the mine before. This is my first time. How far down does this place go? Oh, who knows? I'd go deeper in myself, but the door to the next level down is locked. There's a kooky note hanging there. I can't figure out who left it, though. Does every part of this town come with a ready-made mystery? <laughs> oh, sure seems that way. Anyway, I heard that when the mine was still in operation, the miners found gems on the lower levels. Good luck. Thanks. Hmm, it's locked tight. Ooh, fancy door. There's a note on it. Time for bed. See something.
You know, a girl's gotta learn to rely on herself. That's what swinging the hammer has taught me. Ever thought of picking one up? <laughs> me? Oh no, nope, no, no, no. Definitely not. <laughs> well, you let me know when you're ready to give it a go. I finally got to walk up to the mountain pass, and I saw all kinds of wildflowers. I didn't even recognize all of them. Thanks for your help in fixing up that bridge. Everyone in town's gonna love it up there. Thanks again for helping the kids with their stand. Of course, now Emmy's asking for a credit card so she can start building her credit. Hey, Kai. What's wrong? I got worked over by this clothes out of my leash snap. I just don't get why the wave didn't bring my board in, though. It was new, and it's so hard to get longboard shipped here. So what are you doing on the beach? You collecting seashells or something? I was just about to cast a line, actually. I'm hoping to catch some dinner. Ra, can you just make sure to take your hooks with you? If I had a penny for every time I've been snagged by one of those things, I would have, like, a lot of pennies, you know. Sorry if I was grouch. I'm just super bummed about my board. It's all right. I understand. Let me buy you a beer to make up for it, okay? I found something. <gasps> a recipe! I was talking to Juliet, and she seemed so sad to be going back to school soon. That's a pity. I always loved school when I was growing up. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. What a long day. <sighs> it was Grandma's room. I guess it's my room now. <laughs> wow, this place looks incredible. I know. And I've got something special for the person who helped to make it happen. Go ahead, try it on! Oh my gosh, you look so good! <gasps> and it fits like a glove! Now, I have more fabulous new designs than I have time to sew, so I can't stop ready to wear outfits right now, but I can sew you the patterns so you can make them yourself. If you want to make clothes, you'll need a sewing machine. And come back anytime you're ready for a new look. <laughs> Hey, if you see Sebastian outside, will you remind him not to skate in the rain? Last time he did that, he ate dirt and sprained his ankle. Cameron started leading walks up to the Overlook. He says it's perfect for contemplating the journey of the mountain of consciousness. You should come sometime. I'm good, thanks. Should only take a day or so. Look at that, Otto. You'd never guess he used to work summons at the bait shop. <laughs> he did? Really? <laughs> yeah, I needed the help. And, uh, it was nice, having him around. Oof, not a very good day for surfing, huh? Oh, contraire, my dude. As long as there's not too much lightning, it's fine to hit the water. I mean, you're already wet, so what's a little rain? You just gotta be careful afterwards. Uh, rain makes all the trash wash up on shore. It seems we have a new neighbor. I saw Cameron on his way to visit her, hoping to convert a new acolyte, I presume. I'm sorry. That wasn't very nice of me. I'm sure he was just being neighborly. Here you go. One fish stew. Well, that smells just fine. I thank you. Here's some more of that crystal ball potion. You'll need it. Try giving Angus a recipe from back home to use up leftover bits of bread. No reason to waste what's perfectly useful. For ten-year-olds, Emmy and Finn know how to make a good pitcher of lemonade. Well, someone gave them homemade sugar. Oh, 
Maybe I should partner with them? Offer a Hemoni Berico and Lemonade Special? I like visiting Amira's office, even when I'm not sick. She has such a warm presence. Talking to her is like drinking a perfect cup of tea. It's a recipe! Thomas, uh, I hope this isn't too intrusive, but your land. Grandma mentioned it used to be, well, different. Back when my dad moved us here, a ridge protected it from the sea. But that ridge crumbled, and all that seawater it isn't good for the crops, so I do what I can. I'll make it work. I'm all out of strength. Meow. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you, kitty? Something. Hmm. Hmm. It's empty. that's going to do it for this episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please if you would hit the subscribe button maybe leave a comment i will reply hit the like button share it with your friends i can be found on twitter discord and facebook all senile simmer and above all have a really great day bye bye